This is one of our regular spots. It's just a parking spot here in eastern Helsinki. We are trying to save money, so just having this local camping spot around this Helsinki area. We don't want to spend so much on money on diesel before our big journey will start. And this is our sunny parking spot. The doggies will love this weather also. They like to sit there in the big chair also. Just sniff air and see what's going on around the area. Johnny plays some very annoying game at the moment. No, not the game, that's a bird sound. Actually, it's a Ruiz Rääkkä, which is uh, nesting on this area, so I wanted to know what is the sound of that bird. Ah. Not a game. Okay. Should I be alarmed? Because <laughs> I heard it's like a game noise. But we are not that hungry, so we will just wait till we are hungry and then start cooking food outside. So always nice time to cook outside when the weather permits it. Summer is soon here and we don't have to heat our van that much. So we decided to just walk in this forest and gather fallen branches and free firewood that is totally legal to take. Yes, during the autumn time and winter time we use those uh, presto logs to heat our van because we need all the power, 2 kilowatt that the wood stove can give us and now when it's uh, summer time yeah small heat is enough for giving heat and also drying up our clothes if we have been hiking or something like that and also taking the moisture out, out of the van so that's why we usually in the summer time we call it branches look at this massive big tree that is fallen it's really rare to see old trees in Finland but this tree has died and it's so beautiful. And old trees are not that common in Finnish forests because all the forests are grown. We have fields in Finland, not forests. They are just fields that are producing wood. But in Russia there is an old forest that you can actually go there and enjoy it. But in Finland usually the forests are all, always grown. So somebody is growing wood there. And yeah, we have natural parks in Finland where it's lots of uh, this old forest and untouched forest with all different kind of wood there. But yeah, most of the forest is uh, just grown. That is also a good thing because we have really uh, good forest, healthy forest and they are growing really fast. So thinking about like a carbon storage it's really good because it grows so fast compared to normal forest even nature has to be proactive and this go 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 mentality when the man touches it usually all trees have dry branches that are falling so this is always good place to harvest some firewood small chunks and this is enough to hit our van. Summer has lots of perks what comes to the van life. They aren't that cold and you can go swimming and bathe in the lakes and yeah we don't have to use money for heating when in winter time we might use like 20 euros or 10 euros per day. And Finnish summer is also good for our van life because it doesn't get too hot in the summertime also. So even if you park your van place where it's no shade, the van don't get hot. And also it doesn't feel like sauna after a while. So lots of perks of van life in Finland. Of course the nature and the popular 
density of population is so low that you can always find places where you can actually spend the night calm in a calm place and just enjoying the nature. The best perk is that it's totally legal to live in your van in Finland and also all the services that you can actually imagine are still available for you even if you are not having a house. Pretty awesome. These tiny little sticks, they will keep us very warm, so we don't need much during the summertime. And this bad boy has been a total game changer. Is it oversized? Yes. But is it really efficient? Also yes. We love this. It only takes few minutes and we have cut firewood. And we bought it because all the firewood that is sold in a uh, hardware store is too long for a wood stove. Yeah. So we wanted to have a, some kind of uh, editka, editka saw so we can cut them to pieces that we need. Yeah. First two winters we did use the manual saw but it was kind of pain in the butt when it's cold outside you kind of want everything to happen very fast and effic efficient way. When you think about battery powered power tools all the companies has different kind of batteries, different kind of systems and they update those systems in uh, like three year period of time. And nothing matches after that, how <laughs> annoying. And yeah, I think Ruobi is the only one that is, has kept the same batteries for quite long time. Sarah's biggest fear is that some bugs will invade our van and yeah, collecting firewood from the forest there is a risk of getting some bugs inside but luckily in Finland we are so north that we don't have that much much uh, ugly bugs in here just some ants and th that, that kind of things when in southern Europe there is lots of more bugs that yeah, can invade your van yeah now we have branches for for the next five days so we can Usually once in the evening we put the wood stove full of food and burn them and that is enough for whole evening. It also takes care of the moisture if there's some because it's raining quite a lot and often here in Finland. We don't have any plans for today, we just make food. Takes approximately half an hour with the dishwashing and that's it. Then we can just enjoy. Doing nothing has been part of our lives for past five years and it's been feeling great. Yeah. Learning to not do anything is also skill because in a nowadays, nowadays society, everyone has to do something, and you have to do something that is uh, has a cause. So if you do something that has no cause, like wander or just walk in the forest or just sit down and do nothing, that is not a good enough thing to do. Yeah, we have been learning that skill, and we are mastering it after five years. Do you know guys what our precious grill is broken and Joni is trying to fix it? Yes, the grill itself is uh, working great but the bolts or tuts or whatever these are called are broken. So I'm gonna just replace them and our five year or six year old grill will have a new life. Yeah, we love this thing. It's really hard to find a small enough grill, like a charcoal grill that we want to use. And five years for 50, 15 euro grill is pretty good. Yeah. So let's give it uh, another, another five years. At least. Cold apple juice, really good. It's 
so I will just sip my drink and watch Joni to fix everything. I love my life. Cheers to that. Five more years. Five more years. Which is crazy. This is truly a great lifestyle because when we compare living here inside of the camper van in the nature, even we do not do anything. It's like a lazy day for us. We don't feel like Hmm, we should go out walking and we should do something proactive and enjoy and, the life. And we don't have the feeling that we are missing something. Yeah, if I compare this feeling when we live it in an apartment, inside of the apartment, especially if it was a good weather, and I just wanted to hang out inside of the apartment, which is totally okay. I felt I had such a bad like guilt trip. Like I'm wasting my life now that we are here and do basically the same thing. But in a van? It's totally different. We have that fulfillment inside of us all the time. And that is one one of the feelings that you get when you move to the van. Fulfillment of small things. And you don't have that guilt trips that you don't do something or you are missing something because uh, this is enough. Yeah, and it's so weird feeling because you are so aware of your surroundings and everything and even you are like this hyper alert, you still have this total calmness inside of you. It's a like really good feeling and it's kind of hard to describe, but like the inner peace or something. Everything is okay, even you run out of the water or diesel or something, so... I think this lifestyle has made us very mellow people and easygoing and not stress about the little stuff. But yeah, that's true. We don't worry about small things. Uh, and if the small things are worrying us, then we just take care of them. We are so sure that we did the right decisions. Yeah, actually... There has been lots of moments in the past two weeks that when like, oh, this is so right decision. Yeah. After like talking to people and my co-workers and everything and when, especially when people ask, do we have some kind of purpose on our trip? Like what do we do? We don't know and we don't care. We do whatever we want. And, and these people do not just compute. I think it's something to do with human brain that you have to do something always, all the time. That has meaning. Yeah. So doing meaningless things is uh, what? So I have been starting to uh, say to my uh, friends and whoever asks what we're gonna do, I've just said that next two years we are not going to do anything or worry about those things. Yeah. But in real time, we are hoping that we can actually do it for the rest of our lives. Just do nothing, meaningless things, and things that, that make us, us happy. Yes, and gives us something. Yeah, enjoyment, happiness, fulfillment, or just calms our minds. Yeah, those to are things. Giving something to our brains and to live happy, simple life. Yeah, and for example, when you move in the camper van, you might not know yourself that well. For example, I never thought I was an artistic person or have anything like creative outlet. But when we started making these YouTube videos, I kind of found that hmm, I kind of like making these. I'm not saying these are art, of course, these are like journals, but still it's like the most artistic things I have done. So it's a good feeling too. Yeah. Learning new passions about yourself. Yeah. And the rest of the evening we're gonna do meaningless things. Yeah. <laughs> and just enjoy. Chill as much. If we can do it, you can do it too. Yes, I agree. <laughs>